was a dunker and a shooter and all of that, if I ain't give a f that you was under the rim and I was going to try to punch that thing, and, and you know what I'm saying, and you might undercut me and seriously hurt me, if I didn't care then, I damn sure didn't care when I was on the perimeter, I'm just taking a damn on jump shot. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good evening out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, man. 4.6 thousand views on yesterday's video. Almost 500 likes, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. A little bit disappointed, man, because y'all know y'all know y'all can do better than that, man. We have gotten to that oh so coveted 100K. And a, a, a while ago, we was going to the moon, Alice. Now it looks like we back to extra regular, man. But it's all good because I'm appreciative for everything you guys do for me. Um, and, and as such, man, let me tell y'all what, man. We got to hit y'all with that Notre Game Wall of Fame, man. Anybody come through and say all the stuff, man. Hey, my boy, Jay Nell. Gym Stars! Hey, first in this thing, man. That's my guy right there, man. We got to get some runs, man. Probably get some runs with him tomorrow. We going to get out there. We I don't know what y'all want to play. Wreck tomorrow? Y'all want to play uh, threes tomorrow? Let me know down in the comment section. When I get off, we going to hoop. I got to run out into the city and do a lot of stuff. Just like I did today, hence the late upload, man. They said, man, shooting felt good last night. I went eight for 10 and eight for eight from three. Noty gang in this thing, man. Listen, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. The shooting did feel better. And a lot of people talking about the shooting. We're gonna talk about all that in one second, man. We got this uh, top comment from yesterday. He says, I have a seven. Oh, this is Tommy Gunn. To the Z-Man and Tommy Gunn? Okay, let's see what we got. Um, I have a 7-1 rim protector and a 74 three ball rating and which and, and with the latency I was shooting around 44% uh, from three but I, uh, but all the changes uh, I was after all the changes I was second guessing my timing and I agree with you as a center if you miss your first open shot good luck getting another three three point shot but i had to switch my cue uh to release and i'm working with uh i'm working with a three point percentage back up to about 35 percent man that's how it is bro for whatever reason if you're a center you miss your first shot bro if you're a center good luck getting the ball period man but hey if you're a center you miss your first shot hey i hey, let's like they said in taking Good luck. But before, anyway, man, we're going to talk about all this and all this stuff in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's get 300 likes. Let, we need to blow those likes out the water. Let me need to get 800 likes tonight, man. And then we coming back with a video right in the morning, man. Let's get in that YouTube algorithm and show these boys what the gym stars can do. And with all that out of the way, yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel, coming to you live with another video, man. Now, check it out. The first thing we got for y'all is that uh, Lily Zinkai, she has written a paragraph for us uh, to, to look in this right here, man. And now, uh, we're going to look at all this right here. We're just going to go through this stuff and see what's going on. She's talking about the shooting and how that's doing, uh, doing the, the best Susan job in the league. And now, uh, we're just going to go with it right here, man. So, I was raised and trained by one of the best three-point shooters in college slash NBA history uh, related to a few related to a few dudes on that list uh, was getting recruited by colleges as a seventh grader and playing uh, against 18 year olds at a point as a point guard I chose volleyball for other reasons hey okay I feel you on that man that's all all that to say what what are we saying all that to say hey please don't come at me talking about IRL basketball IQ. I ain't gonna lie to you now. I'm gonna I'm play devil's advocate on this one. I'm not talking about your IQ, but bro, I know some dudes that was some, let, let's be honest. Um, binary, back me up, please. We know a lot of D1 players that was like really, really good. And it was all because they had all that athleticism, that bas basketball IQ probably was not the greatest. Like a lot of times you got the best basketball IQ, is because you probably weren't the best, but some of the best do have the best basketball like you. Those guys that put it together go to the league. You understand what I'm saying, man? So like she's just saying, don't come at me about that. Hey, shot variable timing is real. Cap! But we gonna go on with it and say, uh, do I think it needs to be uh, be uh, compensated? Uh, maybe she means represented. Do I think it needs to be represented on a virtual video game? I don't know, but everyone at a high level has their own shot release, their own shot uh, jump shot, and a speed and the speed slows up and down. Mine don't. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I practice and I practice and I practice and I do the same thing every time. I like to think that mine doesn't speed up or slow down. I do this thing when the ball is coming. I got I got my stuff down to a routine. I drop my feet. I, I like hop and like drop my feet under me and get into the catch and shooting position. So when the ball is coming, I'm already hopping. I catch and I just go up 
and it's just like you just putting the, putting the cookie in the cookie jar every single time elbow cookie cookie jar elbow so i i, I do the same thing every time i do that and then it's the same shooting motion every time and uh, i think that people like they said pros i mean good people practice until they get it right pros practice until they can't get it wrong i practiced that ad nauseum until i just felt like i couldn't get it wrong uh when i was at the plan and playing my best basketball so i think the whole thing about being a professional which which we are represented in this game is is to not have variance in anything that you do but i understand what you're trying to say like you know every time that you do everything that you do is not at the same speed even though we train for everything that we do to be at the same speed i got what you're saying so okay so i said uh their own they got their own jump shot their own speed up slow down um it's depending on the distance from the hoop and trying to to beat a defender's closeout uh, versus taking your time to nail technique because you're wide open. And like I said, I, I gotta disagree with that because even with somebody bearing down on you, they tell you, you gotta keep, you don't do any of that. You just keep your same technique because if they hit you, it's a foul and you're going to the line. So they actually tell us, they, they everything that she's saying right there, they, they, they tell us, don't do that. Don't speed up when somebody's bearing down on you. You just stand firm, take your shot, do everything the same way every time because, and that's and that's that's why I think I have such a, a, a issue with the whole shot variance, especially when you're wide open, because nobody does that in real life. Whether somebody's bearing down on you, you are supposed to, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to do the same thing every time. We're supposed to, but the game forces us to either speed up or slow down. That's cool on the contested shots. We're talking about the wide open shots, man. So you know it, it, it is what it is. I get what she's trying to say though, uh, but. At the same time, you're not supposed to do that. And by the way, back me up. You're supposed to take the same side every time, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I ain't mad at that, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate in this right here. I said now, ghost contest is a real, is uh, is real. Maybe she's trying to say she said LMAO. Uh, but maybe she's saying in my opinion, uh, in my honest opinion, something like that. Uh, let me see, and I, I'll tell y'all why in a second. Uh, let me say a technique. Uh, wide open blah 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 it's real in my opinion some people will miss a shot because you ran at them or they thought that you were closing out um but that's not something i believe that's not something i believe should be mimicked in a video game i can understand that and i'm gonna be real with you like uh like you said ghost contest. some people do do that but again they train you against doing that you're not supposed to do that somebody rented you somebody i ain't gonna lie to y'all man i'm one of them people that just, i ain't never gave a f I, I was a dunker and a shooter and all of that. If I ain't give a f that you was under the rim and I was going to try to punch that thing and, and you know what I'm saying, and you might undercut me and seriously hurt me. If I didn't care then, I damn sure didn't care when I was on the perimeter. I'm just taking a damn jump shot. Like, I, I really didn't care. I had no conscience out there. That's probably why I didn't make it that far because I, I just did what I did. But y'all understand what I'm trying to say. So, uh, yeah, should it be uh, in the video game? No. Visual Q is the epitome of realism. I ain't mad at it, man. It says your favorite three-point shooter, uh, shooting athlete just nails uh, his cue uh, to an extreme 1% level and even when and, and even he changes his release and shot timing in actual uh game footage uh no freaking not a freaking standstill shot drill where the whole god doggone point is to shoot exact okay so she is saying what i'm saying that that in those drills you're supposed to shoot the same way but you're supposed to get it to shoot the same way even when somebody's bearing down upon you uh the same uh let me see shoot exactly the same possible from the exact same shot over and over again okay so she's saying that but you do the standstill drill so that it becomes second nature and no matter if somebody's bearing down on you or not you can still do it the same way i understand what she's saying though but yeah visual cue i'm with that that's the epitome of thing it says just say just say that you don't want overly realistic or oh something or just overly realistic and stop trying to argue basketball logic in a video game on the timeline every day being blatantly wrong and claiming varsity high school basketball makes you more qualified than some of the devs literally played in the nba and college and I'm gonna be honest with you, Lee Lee. We're talking about they played in the, uh, the league and uh, college, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. We do not care. I really don't care about none of that. I mean, I'm, from, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be completely real with you. I'm from the south side of Atlanta. I don't give a fuck about none of this. Shit. None of it, because ain't none of that got to do with nothing that's going on in this game right now. We ain't never had it before, and all of a sudden, we got all this stuff. 
I'm gonna tell y'all what Swante say. Man, the game is fundamentally broken on some some area, and I don't think that they can fix it. Y'all think that I be asking, uh, I be defending this stuff, or I be saying, you know, 2K this, that, and the third, they, they like it's perfect or something? No. I'm not defending 2K ever. I'm defending the fact that I don't want 2K to change things. Just leave it the same because every time they've shown us that they have an inability to balance things. It's either gonna be extremely that way or it's gonna be extremely this way. That's how it always is in 2K. They're either gonna, you are, either everybody's gonna hit everything or hardly anybody's gonna hit anything. That's just how the game goes. Either the steals are gonna be turned up to 11 or the steals are gonna be non-existent. That's just how it goes. So I really don't care what 2k does i just say stand firm and keep it the same because we already know with that when something changes it's gonna go all the way left it either go it's just like a sliding scale it's either gonna go to 10 or it's gonna go to one and but i think because that's the re the reason that it's because i think the reason for that is because we got thresholds in the game and the way that the game it works it is predicated on thresholds very largely and uh, we know with the thresholds, you can either do something or you can't. 45 dunk, you're dunking every single time. 44 dunk, you can't dunk. So stuff like that, man. But to know it is what it is. That boy doggone Splash, he just said, honestly, 2K is brainwashed, y'all. <laughs> y'all, they are dead. <laughs> they are dead they in public uh, defending your shot speed up and slow down uh, wide open regardless of if you think the game is good or not. It's ridiculous how you sit on the timeline and defend this stuff that obviously doesn't make sense. And he just said, hey, should it, should it not be harder to green if you're tired hey i mean we got that part though i got that i got that what they saying you know it should be harder to green if you're tired if you've over dribbled all this stuff i really don't care whatever they do just do it and stand on it that's all i'm saying do what you do and stand on it and just say this is my game i put it out y'all are playing it i'm gonna keep it like this this is my vision come to life that's all to it and he said to be honest all this over a basketball game is crazy and hey I ain't gonna lie, me said LMAO, I went in, but typed too fast. Uh, it, it, you know, it wasn't that hard. I feel you on that, man. But like I said, I, I agree with dude, man. All this over a basketball game, it is what it is, man. Like I said, whatever 2K does, put your, put your vision out. Stop trying to satiate everyone and just just do it. If you feel like the, uh, the difference in the shot timing and the variances and all that stuff uh, accurately in, uh, depicts real basketball, then do that by all means. But if you're doing it, because you have a distinct inability to limit players from scoring video game numbers in a video game any other way than just changing things on the fly and making them con consistently readjust, then just say that. We, the only way we can limit y'all, y'all are too good at this game. Y'all are hitting too many shots. The only way that we're able to limit you all is to just con consistently move the needle to where, you know, to move the goalpost. And then, uh, yeah, because the best players are just too good. Just say that, man, and I'll be with it, man. Up next, man, hey, this is the real PH to resist on. Hey, my boy Dove said, I thought I was tripping when I when I seen four guys with the, hey, but good post by Lily, man. Hey, say what you feel, feel what you say. Hey, nobody, everybody ain't got to agree with it. You ain't got to agree with nothing. I'm sure she feel like ain't nobody got to agree with nothing what she's saying. Because, I mean, I agree with I agree with a good bit, but I don't agree with a good bit as well um, as far as how it's going to be depicted in a video game just because I, I doubt their ability to depict it properly is what I'm saying. But, hey, uh, does I thought I was tripping uh, when I seen four guys with close to the same name. Uh, he said, please, please, I love this. And, uh, <laughs> and this is a glitch that's going to completely ruin it. And he's just talking about for the wreck, there is a bug glitch uh, that's allowing squads to load up when the no squad wreck. And so like right here, boom, you see this J.A. J. A. Bridge going in and then you see what Dime Work's saying and Dime Work, he's just asking this question right here. Are dudes really getting full fives uh, in the solo wreck? And a lot of people are saying, uh, pathetic. that's what Black Cobra says, pathetic. He said, yep, running zone and everything. Why y'all, what's y'all big issue with zone? In a game where you can shoot from half court, you should have no issue. Cause I'm gonna get on, if I, if I can get, if I can get on Lily a little bit with that, with what she's saying to disagree with her, I can disagree with y'all ass too. What is y'all problem with zone? In a game where you can consistently shoot from the hash and shoot from the top middle, you should have no issue negotiating the zone. Just spread out. If you have a non-shooter out there, you better hide him with a screen and roll and stuff. But the object of the game of basketball is not for me to make it easy for you. It's for me to take your weaknesses and make them glaring holes. 
that's what it is. The, it, it's not for me to sit here and be like, make it easy for you. Well, man, well, it is, uh, we got a team full of slashers. Uh, we, we should just play man. No, we gonna play zone and, and make you dunk on Gambit every single time. And if you can do that and win the game, that's what you're gonna do. But uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's all we got. That's enough about that, man. But anyway, um, Tone says, Hey man, I hooped with you last night, and the stuff definitely felt like the game uh, that that the game that we played. And he says that was that's what prompted me to ask this question. The funny thing is, we could have easily won if the big could just get a rebound. Power forward wasn't helping him either. Point guard had no D or IQ. <laughs> that stuff was a recipe for an L, and we still should have beat the uh, beat them sorry dudes. I low key shot some BS at the end. Uh, hey, at least he admit, admitted that. Got too confident, but the way the game was going i knew i was gonna go i mean i, I knew I, I there was no hope gg though man but it's crazy that the 2k community like i said we got we got them working on things that we really don't want them to change and then because of that they don't even have time to look at stuff like this we're talking about we're talking about the stuff what, what we're talking about with this one we're talking about uh you know with the shot time and the variance and stuff whatever it is leave it in the game just leave it how it is right now how it is right now november the 2nd leave it exactly how it is we'll adapt we'll adjust i promise you they're gonna stop er eventually and everything gonna be cool but if you keep changing it trying to i don't know if you're changing it because you're trying to satiate people i don't know if you're changing it because you're trying to keep us off balance and off guard and you know if you you know if you keep changing things we'll become less and less confident naturally and we'll get apprehensive or whatever i'm just gonna tell y'all this i'm just not gonna play the game on sunday evening or monday morning that's what it is because they always change it those two days i had the worst time shooting and then i come back tuesday and i'm shooting lights out the rest of the week so it is what it is like i said the variable shots everything that she said in the game is in the game but the way that they keep changing it it doesn't manifest itself like that for real man but like i said if we can a hey, if we could stop doing the things like this just trying to sit here and break the game any way we can just because like bro who wants to go into solo wreck with a squad though like like you're really going into solo wreck i can see if you go into regular wreck with a squad like we used to last year and we're gonna play squads over and over but you're forcing your way you're actually breaking the game and forcing your way into solo wreck with a squad that's 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 deplorable i'm not gonna lie to y'all man but it is what it is man like i said everybody entitled to their opinion y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section shoot all right they said it's not even that hard to do man so um we'll see how that goes but like i said man hey big shout out to lily i agree with some of the stuff i don't agree with some of the things but that's just because of the way that i played the way that i played i felt like nobody could obviously this is not the truth but i felt like nobody could defend me i felt like nobody never missed made me miss a shot unless you blocked my shot it was my fault i tried never to speed up slow down i ignored joe i ignored them weak ass fake closeouts and stunts that people did and stuff like that you do that and i'm really hand down man down just putting it in the rim like that's that's how i used to play ball man and um like I said, that's how I told my ACL too, trying to dunk on people that didn't want to be dunked on because I, I really had a complete and utter. And y'all seen my old videos, but I never seen my videos. I had a complete and utter disregard for other people uh, when I played basketball, uh, rec leagues, all that stuff, man. And like I said, uh, South Carolina, everything, man. So I, I didn't care. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the Viewer Sam. Guys, please. Guys, please.